Stanford University. How many people in this room are, have never had any connection with an EVP project? Well, that's encouraging, actually, because you, you are why we did this. Right? You're the principal reason why we're here today. Even though we all focused on the environment and sustainability, many, many uh, ways the language, is, the language we used was different, the approaches we used were different. So there was a lot to do. In the um, vast majority of cases in Asia, it's not a lack of water, it's actually a lack of, of quality water. And really, it's almost an overabundance of water that's the problem. And the reason that is, is that you start mixing then um, both human and animal habitation um, with these water sources. And so you can see here, this, this village here, all their effluent drains right into this water system here, which is what they also use for their drinking water. And if you look over here, you see... Uh, cow being bathed, and that's, that's classic for uh, this region. Often you only understand when a coral reef is in trouble when it's dead. It would be nice if we had a way to understand when a coral reef was in trouble when, before it was dead. And the development of these biomarkers is one of the goals for that. As soon as you start working um, on these big problems that are multidisciplinary in nature, you recognize the importance of having all these other PIs around with expertise because you look over and say, okay, I understand the chemistry well and I kind of get the hydrology, but I need somebody who really can tell me why the water is flowing the way it is. So combining the global scope, the mechanistic understanding of the ecological relationships with an idea that with biotechnology in hand, you could actually produce a usable stress marker test has led us to be able to, to be a little more bold about what maybe not we can do, but certainly about what we want to do, and certainly what has to be done if we're gonna make future strides in protecting these environments from climate change. It's hard to start going back to doing um, disciplinary work sometimes because you're thinking of these big problems that are, have you know, real gravity, and then you go back and think, oh, I could do my little project in, but you're, 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 you know, you want to do the big stuff, right? And so, so it's infectious, and it, that's one of the great things about having the EVP uh, program is that it, it gives you the, the monetary incentive and the ability to go and glue everybody together, and then after you've done that, I think it's a self-fulfilling prophecy after that. You just you want to keep going after it. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.